I just got back from Tokyo a few days ago. It was an amazing experience. It's always amazing in Tokyo, especially since Benji's grandparents live there. So we brought all the girls and they got to meet their great grandparents. Juliana has a few years ago and it was the first time for Mia and Kira and it was really special. Anyways, I also did some beauty shopping and my friend Asahi took me to the drugstore. She showed me some of her favorite drugstore products and I saw a lot of cute things. I just couldn't resist. Like for example, this right here. It's like, oh my gosh, what is that? It caught my attention. They're like, I don't know, generic Sailor Moon Q-tips. I don't, I wonder if these are scented because, oh, by the way, don't mind the banging. We have some stuff going on in the garage and there's just no way of getting around to it because I really want to do this haul like now. But anyways, it says here like there's grape, I don't even know what that is. Tea, it looks like this one is curry, orange curry, and umbrella. So let me just open up this curry looking one. So I just bought this mainly because it's super cute. I don't need Q-tips. I mean, come on, Judy. I don't need any makeup in general, but you're in Tokyo. How can you not buy any cute makeup items? That would be the most interesting thing if these were actually scented. I guess you'll never know what to expect. The pan. Okay, they're not scented. Oh look, there's some writing. I'm not sure what the writing says. I cannot read any Japanese at all. It's almost like a sponge. The swabs are so big. Let me compare it to a regular American Q-tip. Yeah, I'm not sure why the swabs are so large. I'm gonna put these in little baggies for my girlfriends because they're so cute. And I'm gonna show you the little gift baggies that I got for my friends later in this video because that's mainly snacks. But okay, so on to more beauty goodies. So this is huge in Japan, face mask. There are so many different kinds of face masks. I have a My Melody and Hello Kitty. Sanrio ones. You yourself can be Hello Kitty or My Melody. This is hilarious. Like it looks kind of freaky and I'm not going to put it on now, but I do plan on trying it tonight. So follow me on Instagram or you can just check out on my vlog. It's Judy's Life. If you want to see what it looks like on, I could imagine it be kind of like the scariest thing ever. Asahi showed me other designs so I can also be a dog. <laughs> But let's just take a moment to appreciate the instructions. It shows a dog applying the mask. So now I know how to. And there's also a panda mask. <laughs> like that lady is really enjoying this panda mask. Oh, no, 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 that's on the mask. She's not actually smiling. These are the cutest, most kawaii things. Kawaii means cute. I said kawaii a billion times in Japan. Okay, this one. I was checking out the drugstore and Asahi was like, hey, this seems pretty interesting. It's called Baby Foot for soft and smooth feet. They're like plastic socks with, I don't even know what's in it, but you put it on and wow, that's pretty graphic. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you. If you're not into feet, just don't look. So you put it on for 30 minutes, and then I guess she said a week later, your skin peels. And the bottom of your feet gets super soft. So I definitely need this. I don't get a pedicure often. So we're gonna see if this will actually work and if it's a good fix. Okay, of course I had to get lashes. I am an eyelash junkie. I went to Daiso, which is like their dollar store, and they have pretty good quality ones. They didn't have the style that I liked. I got a few several years ago that were amazing, but they didn't have that particular one. So, and usually the dollar stores around here and even our Daiso's, the lashes have a very thick band, which I hate because it's really stiff and it kind of pokes on your lids. So these all have thin bands and they look pretty natural. And then I got these two at the store called Don Quixote, which is like a huge variety store. And it's always packed and busy in there because they have anything you would ever need. I think they were about like 12 bucks each. These are gorgeous full lashes, more of like the wispy style, which I'm really into. This was adorable, cutest, kawaii lip gloss. They're my little twin stars. It's a Sanrio brand and they have their own lip gloss. I don't know what it says or if it does anything special. Not sure if it's supposed to change color or if they're just showing you different ways to wear it, but 
I don't know, it's just so cute. So my friend Asahi gave this to me. She said it's one of her favorite cotton swabs. And you know, I'm gonna open this to see what she was talking. She was talking about like it's layers or sheets and you just peel it. It looks like this. And I use cotton pads every single day. So here's one. There are a ton in here. And, oh, okay, wow. There's like a ton in one little pad. Three, there's six in one pad. Oh my gosh, that makes sense. So I could use one of these a day. That's neat. So cool. And this actually saves a lot of space too because I use cotton rounds and they're super, super thick. Thank you, Asahi. Okay, more lashes. Speaking of lashes, this is the best lash glue I've ever tried my whole life. And since I'm a lash junkie, I have tried so many. This is called Dupe Eyelashes Fixer. And I noticed that Revlon came out with a similar one. If you're looking for one in the States, they came out with one that's very, very similar. It's a black cap and it says Revlon. If you ever go to Tokyo, you have to get this brand. It lasts all day and it dries really quickly so you don't have to wait for it to become tacky. Right, so this one was also from Asahi, of course, another face mask. She recommended this for, I believe she said for winter time because it just, it moisturizes. I don't know, Ichiban, like number one, the best, I suppose. Okay, this was interesting. I don't paint my nails often because I almost always screw up. So this is supposed to, it's called Nail Care Implements and it's supposed to protect your nails to dry completely. So you could kind of go on with your day and not have to sit there. So I was like, I kind of laughed when I saw this because it looks so silly, but it's super practical. And actually speaking of nail stuff, um, Asahi recommended, okay, here you go. She recommended, it's called Maki, Makiage Quick Dry Oil. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's an oil that you apply after you do your nails. So even though the nail polish is dry, it's supposed to dry it right away. I guess if this really works, I don't need it, but I bought this before I got this. So anyways, it's fun and interesting. Um, I also got an eyelash curler. I just needed a new one and they have lots of different um, types over there in Tokyo. They, they have a lot of different types of lash curlers just at the drugstore. So depending on your eye shape, like how much curl you want or curve you have to your lids. And I just got the one that's just more round. So what else? Oh, more lashes. <laughs> I just got a sharpener. I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but every time I buy pencil sharpeners, the cap always falls off. So I figure with one that's made in Japan would be the sturdiest. I'm not exaggerating when I say Japan made products are one of the best quality products because they're very prideful in their, I don't know if it's image or just they're all about quality there. Yeah, it looks like it has a strong hold. You could fit three different sizes in here more essentials like this brow grooming scissors. My brow hairs are so long and it gets long pretty fast. So just for a quick trim and it keeps everything even. So um, I bought one of these several years ago in Japan and I lost the comb thingy. So it's, yeah, I just got a new one. So I asked the side to recommend a good mascara that gives volume. So she recommended this Kate Lash Maximizer. It's pretty much a mascara base. So you just put this on before you apply mascara and I believe these have tiny fibers in them. Another recommendation from Asahi is this black eyeliner from Kate. She said this eyeliner is really good if you want a very precise application because it has a super thin, it creates a super thin line. Wait, is it a gel? Oh, it is. And it looks like it does not transfer. I hope I could put this on my waterline. The, the, the last time I bought an eyeliner in Japan, it fogged up my lenses. So, so I hope this is contact friendly. Poor lashes. All right, so let's get into lipsticks. I noticed Japan is really into shiny lipsticks and um, glittery ones. So I didn't like 
really like. They had a lot of like milky, creamy lipsticks. So this one, this one is from Esprit. Packaging is of course Sky. Oh my gosh. Look how creamy that is. That is such a pretty color. I want to put it on now. Wowers! So it's unscented and it is not sticky at all. It's like almost in between a lipstick and a gloss. Like it's that creamy. And then these two are like mood lip glosses. So you apply it and I guess this one, you don't know how it will look on your lips. It's called Your Lip Only Gloss. Depending on your chemistry with this lip gloss, it could be different on everyone. So I'm interested to see how this will look like. I'm not gonna put it on now because I love this one so much. But that looks interesting. Let me just open it up to see what it looks like. Ooh, they really like tape things down, which I don't understand why. I feel like no one would steal in Tokyo. Everybody just seems like angels over there. Ooh, how pretty is this? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And then I have another mood gloss and this is from Can Make as well. And for some reason, it's shaped like a coffin. Why? I don't know. And it just goes on clear and then it turns pink, so that's kind of fun. And I bought this just because the lips look so luscious. I'm so curious to know if this will actually give you luscious lips. Like, I think this lipstick does exactly that, but I like this shade. Let's just see. Okay, it's definitely not as creamy. And it's totally not the color that I expected. It's more pink than it is like corally mauve. Aw, that's a bummer. I'm down to my last few items. This was, I bought. I got this several years ago, a gift from Asahi. It's seriously one of the best contour powders that I own and a surprisingly drugstore. So I just got a spare. Um, okay, this is hilarious. I was checking out and I saw this at the counter. Stain cleaner. And it has a baby with white teeth. I think these are made for kids because it has like pictures of kids in the back. Can you guys let me know if this is supposed to be for kids? Comes with some refills and some instructions on how to use it. It's like, it's pretty much just like foam. I have no idea. You know, it's kind of like a styrofoam. You can honestly just get styrofoam and do this to your teeth because it's basically the same thing. <laughs> So I don't know, I wonder if this is like for kids, like to get rid of plaque or something. It's just, it was bizarre and funny and cute. So I uh, just wanted to try it out. Got a blush, which I bought years ago. This is from Majolica Majora, which is a drugstore brand in Japan. And they're really like opaque blushes. Cute packaging. Let me just show you what the front looks like. And they have just a few shades. I think they had four different colors. Pretty, I love peach. All right, so that's it for beauty. I'm just gonna quickly go into snacks. I'm not gonna like try all of it, but I want to show you like Japan has the most amazing snacks, very unique and like so much variety and so much cuteness in their packaging. So, um, okay, so first I'm gonna show you the little goodie bags I put together for my friend. When I was looking for goodie bags, I was thinking of like, the cute designed ones, but you really don't need it because the packaging itself of all the candies and treats are so colorful that it didn't need like a colorful goodie bag. Just a few treats that you can see here. Um, I think these are different chocolates because it's from the brand Meiji and they specialize in like dairy and chocolates. Oh, here is a Sailor Moon eyeliner. Some pens, they have very cute pens over there. These are like lemon rolls. They're like mini lemon cakes. This is really cool. They had these all over Japan at convenience stores and they're just fun snacks. They're like giant cheese puffs, but in a stick. 
and they have tons of different flavors. They have pizza flavor, they had natto flavor, which is like a fermented soybean. Um, I added little packets of furikake, because uh, furikake is like a Japanese rice seasoning that you just put on top. You could put it on top of noodles if you want, but it just adds some extra flavor, and there's like tiny pieces of seaweed in there. It's so good, my kids love it. They have lots of different flavored chocolates. I think these are strawberry. They have these cute little chocolate lollipops, which you can actually find these at Daiso, like the Japanese dollar store in the States. And more snacks, you guys, I promise you, like we're giving half of these away, hopefully. What, how would I describe this? They're like little corn chips, but they're like corn puffs. And they're great for, especially if you have a baby that's just starting to eat solids because they kind of melt in your mouth. Here's like the little furikake packets that I was telling you about. They have different kinds of flavors. I don't know what these flavors are. I know one of them is like salmon. They have like a chicken flavor. And just the packaging of these. Like why do they have to be so cute? The girls have so much fun picking out their own packets of furikake. These ones don't have any like actual designs in them. This is a cartoon character very popular in Japan named Anpanman and he is a bread. He's a piece of bread and in here are little pieces of Anpanman heads. We were sent, um, I think last year, a bunch of Hello Kitty furikakes and Juliana loved them. I wasn't able to find it when we were in Japan then, but I still got a lot of different kinds of furikakes, so the kids are pretty much good. My favorite chocolate of all time are these chocolate mushrooms. You can also get these in the States if you go to like the Japanese supermarket. They're so delicious, like the best chocolate out there. Um, again, the Meiji brand is like number one in my opinion. My husband is huge on rice crackers and the girl love them too. This one is just like a sweet flavored one. This one's Benji's favorite. I think this is called Kakenotana and they're mini rice crackers that's covered in soy sauce and they're like the perfect um, beer snacks. This was some jelly beans from Obachan. She gave these to the girls. These are cheese crackers like you know how we have Cheez-Its this is like their version. They have a ton of these in Japan, tons of different flavors. Like they had mini chocolate chip ones. They had like Oreo looking ones. And now I see we have cheese ones. This is also a popular thing in Japan, like soda candy. So you put it in your mouth and it kind of fizzes and it tastes like soda. What else? Oh, okay, so Kit Kat is huge over there and they have tons of different flavors. So this one is purple yam Kit Kat flavor, matcha green tea flavor, cheesecake. I don't know if it's a strawberry cheesecake, but it's cheesecake. If you have a kid that watches YouTube, you're probably familiar with chocolate eggs. And this was the cutest chocolate egg I've ever seen. A Star Wars chocolate egg. And this is perfect timing because I think Star Wars is coming out next month. So it's kind of the huge craze. I wonder what this looks like. I got a few for my um, girlfriend's sons. Look how cute that is. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I felt like I was dropping a real egg, like please don't crack. So I'm gonna let Juliana open this one later and then we'll see which Star Wars toy is inside. This looks like Smarties. We don't have Smarties in America, but in Canada, it looks just like this. It's like M&M's, but better. So I got this at Don Quixote and it was in the snack aisle. I really thought they were like mini chocolates. So we got back to the apartment and I opened it up and they're mini beef jerkies. And they taste just like regular beef jerkies, but it was so cute how they're so small. <laughs> Juliana really enjoyed them, and then me and Kira loved chewing on them and then spitting them right out. And then I found another mushroom. I could not tell what flavor this is. I think, I mean, I would assume it's white chocolate, but what does that mean? Is that like supposed to be curry flavor? Or does that mean it's like crisp? There's crisp inside, I don't know. Mmm, it might be peanut butter. 
No, I think it's just white chocolate. Mm, that is good. That is about it for the haul. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you lasted this whole, I don't even know how long this is, 25 minutes. And I also did some crazy shopping for the girls, like kids clothes. I got me and Kira a new pair of cute little Japanese shoes. Um, and I'm going to film that on my mommy channel. It's mommy's life. So check that out as well. All right, time to clean up this crazy mess and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.